Okay, how the heck is everyone doing? I hope you are doing amazing. You're having a good Wednesday. I know um, like a lot of people think of Wednesdays as like hump day or whatever, uh, but I actually love Wednesdays. I've decided that I'm not going to I'm not going to believe in that hump day vibe. I think um, I think Wednesdays are fun. They're a great way to kind of like check in midweek and see how everything's going and all that good stuff. So anyway, happy Wednesday. I hope you're doing awesome. I'm back for the second installment of how to get everything you want in 2019. <laughs> and one of the very first things that you have to do, as you can remember, um, there's five main things that you need to do that I, five really big strategies that I think you need to do um, in order to get everything that you want in 2019. And this is what they are. Number one, reverse engineer your biggest goals. Number two, know exactly how to sell your thang. Um, number three is to have a to-do list that does the heavy lifting for you. And number four is to know which numbers to track and then track them daily. And number five is to automate your income. So every single week I'm covering one of these kind of heavy hitter topics. And this week um, what I'm covering is the fastest way to hit 10K plus months by reverse engineering your goals. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'm gonna use 10K uh, months as an example because I know it's kind of like an elusive thing that so many of us wanted. I know that's what I wanted when I first started my business. Um, you know, it's gonna help you get to a six figure year and um, it's an it's a awesome milestone to hit. So I'm gonna use that as an example because I know from ch chatting with a bunch of you guys, that's something that you, um, a lot of you wanna hit. Um, so if you are joining me live, please let me know and say hey in the comments. Um, let me know who you are, where you know, you're coming in from. Um, that way I know who I'm hanging out with. I know that we're here and in the Facebook group. If you guys are not in um, the Facebook group, you should definitely join. It's alyssacoleman.ca slash group. It's kind of a little community where we hang out. Um, and if you're catching the replay, leave me a little hashtag replay so that I can see who watches. I've loved seeing all of you guys who joined in after the fact last week. Um, so yeah, let me know who's here. And if it's your first time here and this is our first time meeting, then hey, how the heck are you? My name is Alyssa Coleman and um, I'm the creator of the program your most profitable quarter yet, and I'm gonna stop clapping now. <laughs> um, but it's so awesome to meet you. I am obsessed with productivity, that is my whole jam, and one of the ways that we are gonna be super, super productive um, and use the rest of the year um, to our advantage is to start reverse engineering our goals so that you know that you are set up for success in 2019. So if you wanna do that, then let's get right into it. So. I'm using, as I said, the example of hitting 10K months, and reverse engineering your goals really takes two key things. And I'm gonna start talking about some things that might sound like scary, so if they do, then just hit me up with like a different name for them. Um, but there's really two main things that need to happen when you reverse engineer your goal. The first thing is you need to get clear on the objective, and that includes a lot of steps. And then the second main thing is you need to get clear on the timeline. And so I wish I had cuter names for both of these things, like objective and timeline sound like, um, you know, kind of like corporate speak, but <laughs> let's create new names together. Leave them, leave your, um, leave your suggestions in the comments. From now on, we'll call them something else. But for this video, we're going to start with number one, which is getting clear on your objective. And that means getting so freaking clear on exactly what you want. And so it's not like next year, I want to have blah 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 and you have 20 different things that you want I want you to start with each every each uh, individual goal and reverse engineer each one of those so let's use the example of 10k months so that's your first goal we need to now break that down even more right so if you want to start having 10k months what's that gonna look like what's it actually going to take um, what do you need to be doing every single day in order for you to get there so the first thing I want to do in order to get really clear on my objective is I want to know how many sales is it going to take for me to actually hit that 10k month um, because I want to know how many people how many clients I need to close or how many of my product I need to sell and so let's start reverse engineering this goal really um, quickly so let's say I have a program that is 3k and I want to start hitting 10k months right now um, I'm gonna obviously just do 10k divided by 3k or 10 divided by 3 and that's gonna put me at like three some odd um, sales so I'm gonna round up and I'm gonna say I need to make 
four sales in order to hit 10K months. That's gonna, I always um, suggest rounding up because that's gonna give you some wiggle room in case you wanna run Facebook ads or in case you, you know, wanna buy some new software that's gonna help you get new clients, things like that. You wanna have some wiggle room in your budget so that um, you're actually taking home that 10K, right? So let's say you need to get four sales. You need to make four sales, have four clients. Um, now what we want to start reverse engineering is more of those numbers. So if I need four clients and I need to close all four of them, how many people do I need in my community? How many people do I need to talk to about my awesome program or my awesome product in order to actually sell and close those four people. And so the way that we do that in, um, in my world and in a, most online marketing worlds um, is by figuring out how many people you need on your email list, how many people you need in your community. This is really, really important. If you don't know what number you need to hit on your email list, you're just gonna be crossing your fingers and being like, I hope this many people buy my product. Um, I prefer to do it the other way and I prefer to give myself a big, um, goal of how many people I want to have on my email list so that I know if, um, you know, a certain percentage of my, of my email list converts and I'm going to hit 10 K or I'm going to hit four sales. Um, and so for this example, if this person wants to hit four sales, what we do is we figure out, all right, if 3% of my email list takes action and p purchases my product, um, that's how many people do I need on my email list in order to close four people. So bear with me. I hope I'm still making sense with you. But basically what we know from, you know, industry standards is that somewhere between 1% and 3% of everybody's email lists takes action on what you're telling them about. So if I'm sending out a bunch of emails saying, Hey, I've got this new program. It's 3k. You should totally come. Um, you should join. It's going to be amazing. We're going to do these cool things. You should, um, come to the program. You should buy my program. It's called your most profitable quarter yet. This is how much it's going to be. Um, blah, blah, blah. If I know that somewhere between one and 3% is going to take action, let's lean towards 3%. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the number four, cause I need to close four clients and I'm going to divide it by 0.3%. That's going to, um, tell me how many people I need on my email list. So in this scenario, I would need to grow my email list by 135 people between now and when I plan on, um, you know, launching and saying, hey, come to my new program um, and actually making that 10K. So I need, I know that I need 135 people on my email list. If I have 135, then I can pretty much um, ballpark guarantee that I'm going to be able to make four sales and um, make 10K. So now I'm really clear on um, the first part of my objective. Then the next part comes where it's like, okay, well, so now I know I want to make 10K. I know I need to make four sales and I know that I need to grow my email list by 135 people. Those are three really big to-dos that you're going to need to do every single day. Now, where the heck am I going to get these 135 people? This is a big part of your objective as well. And so now I want you to start narrowing down, all right, where am I going to where am I going to find 135 people who don't know me yet, um, but I can bring them into my world and get them warmed up, get them to know me, get them to, um, you know, understand what I do and what my programs are generally about. Where, where can I find these people? And so now you want to kind of choose your own adventure. Um, you can do this a ton of different ways. So you could run a Facebook ad to a freebie that could help you grow your email list. That's a really simple way to do it. Um, you could be posting on your Facebook page. Um, you could be posting in other people's Facebook groups. You could start a podcast and get guests on your podcast. You could go on other people's podcasts. You could start a YouTube channel or you could post YouTube videos. Maybe you have a lot of people who follow you on Instagram who aren't on your email list. You could be posting on Instagram about what it's like being on your email list and why people should join that email list. Maybe Instagram stories. Um, what else? Pinterest. Um, you could be posting your stuff on Pinterest all the time. Um, so you need to kind of choose what are three ways that I'm going to start getting people onto my email list because I need 135 new people on my email list. So now that if you know those three things, then you are clear on your objective. So objective one is your income goal. In this case, it's 10K. 
Objective two is how many sales you need to close. So how many people you need. In this case, it's four people. Then your email list size. In this case, it's 135 people that you need on your email list. And um, you also need to know the where or how are you doing that. Um, and so where are you promoting yourself and your email list in order to grow your email list? Um, so you're choosing Facebook groups or Pinterest or a combination of all of those. So now you're clear on your objective. These are the things that I need to do in order to actually um, hit my goal. So I've now reverse engineered it. Now what you need to do is actually create the timeline. So all of those things sound great and I'm like, yeah, so I know I need 135 people, cool. Now I just sit here and wait, no. Now we start reverse engineering your timeline. So what I want you to do is on a fresh sheet of paper, start writing out everything that needs to happen in order for you to um, accomplish all of those objectives. So start brain dumping literally everything that's on your mind. I need to start my YouTube channel. I need to create a, uh, you know, a cover image for my YouTube channel. I need to think of some free things that I can offer to people that will entice them into joining my email list. Or I need to, you know, start brain dumping all of these things. I need to think of what I'm going to say in these emails that are going to get people excited to actually buy my program. I need to create a sales page for my program. Start reverse and start uh, brain dumping every single thing that you need to do. And even if it's little things, big things, things that seem silly, um, add it to the list. Step two, you got to go back to that list and you need to start taking things off the list because I guarantee you right now, there's a lot of stuff on that list that is just not necessary um, in order for you to hit your goal. So there's the kind of like, there's you know certain things on there that like it would be nice to get these things done or there's things on your list that are, it is necessary for me to get these things done in order for me to hit all of those objectives that I have. And you need to be able to make the distinction between the two because we a lot of times as entrepreneurs think we can accomplish way more in a short period of time than we actually can. But if you focus on a smaller amount of things Things, then you're more likely to actually accomplish your objectives. So start taking things off the list. That's step two. Then step three, you want to go back to that list and start writing a time next to each one of those things. So if you need to create a sales page for your program, let's say that's going to take you five hours. I want you to write five hours next to it um, and do that for every single thing on your list. How long is it going to take you? All right, so now that you've done that, you move on to step four, and now you're gonna start rearranging that list into what needs to happen first, what needs to happen second, and what needs to happen right before my launch. Like, what's the order that these need to go in? And you wanna start um, reorganizing all of that stuff so that it's in order of, okay, first thing, I need to literally um, email a friend who has a YouTube channel and ask her, how do I start my own first YouTube channel? Or I need to contact MailChimp or ConvertKit and actually, open my first email list because I don't even have one. I don't even know where my emails would go. Literally the smallest things can be on your list, but what needs to happen first all the way up to, I need to finally send those emails inviting people to um, take me up on my 3K program. So once you've put it in order of importance of when they need to be done and you have times next to each and every one, now the fun part starts. So you want to start at the very bottom of your list. Um, and so let's say it's like send out my final email that's inviting people to join my program. And you want to write that right before your deadline. So let's say the cart closes and you want to have made your 10K by March 1st. So maybe on February 20. 8th or 9th or I don't know how many days are in February this year, um, you know, the day before you're going to write, send out the last email and you're going to make sure that you have a chunk of time in your calendar that says two hours or however long you wrote next to, um, write, send out that email. And you are literally going to start going backwards from March 1st all the way to today and putting in your calendar all the things on your list from bottom all the way up to the top so that Every single thing on your list has a spot in your calendar between today and March 1st. And I want you to make sure that you're giving yourself tons of time to do these things and making it really simple for yourself to actually execute on them. Because here's the thing, I know that you run a business, I know that you have a life, and there's a lot of things that you need to accomplish in between or like on top of just emailing that friend about how to start a YouTube channel. You're probably already pretty busy. So make sure that you're not putting way too much on your plate to the point where you're like, ah, screw it, I'll just push it off for another day and another day and another day and then March 1st comes and you're like crap I never did any of those things that were on my list in order to hit 10k so you want to make sure that you are actually giving yourself a little bit of buffer room um, but you're putting in your calendar three hours to or five hours to write my sales page on uh, December 20th 
And that's going to make it so that on the December 23rd, I can actually write some social posts that promote, um, you know, my program. And that's going to make it so that on January 1st, I can send out my social posts and I can go live on my Facebook page all about my new program and invite people to join or however your to do list breaks down. So you want to reverse engineer that timeline now as well um, using your calendar and really using um, your like reverse engineering skills. This is when it becomes really, really important for you to get clear on all of your objectives. So let's say if your objective is to hit 10K by March 1st, you better have that 135 people on your email list by January, you know, 15th. Um, and you need to know those deadlines for yourself. So when am I hitting all of these objecti objectives? <laughs> and then where does this timeline fit in? This is key. And then here's the last step, guys. All you need to do, and literally the most important part of being an entrepreneur, the most like valuable piece of advice I can give to anyone, and it's something that took me a long time to actually start doing, is whatever it says in your calendar that day, you do. It seems very, very simple. <laughs> like, seems like a very basic thing, but here's the thing. A lot of people say they're going to do a lot of stuff and then don't actually do it. I want you to be the type of person, I want you to be the type of entrepreneur who says they're gonna do something and then they do it. If your boss asked you to do something, by a certain deadline, you would do it. Um, and so you have to really hold yourself just as accountable. So be the type of entrepreneur who says they're going to do something and then does it. So if it says on, you know, Wednesday at two o'clock, Alyssa, go live on Facebook and talk about reverse engineering your goals. You better bet I actually make sure that that happens. I made sure my hair was done and I was actually wearing, you know, regular clothes. And I made sure that I showed up at this time and my ring light was charged. <laughs> Actually, I didn't. That was kind of a lie to you guys. I almost lied to you. It wasn't charged. I had to keep it plugged in. Um, but you know, I made sure that all of these things were in place so that I could actually hit my deadline. And I also didn't let excuses get in the way. Oh, my ring light's not charged. Um, no, you find a way <laughs> to rig it up so that it works anyway. Um, but that's because I've gotten myself, I've, I've strengthened my entrepreneurial muscle to a point where I hold myself accountable to the things that I put into my calendar. And I talked to, I've talked about this before, you guys uh, might already you know, know this, but I think for myself, there's kind of two versions of me. There's the CEO, Beyonce version, entrepreneur boss me and then there's the me and, and and that me is like the person who's like I'm gonna be hitting 10k months every single month next year I'm gonna have a you know this is this kind of launch and and I create these giant exciting goals for myself but then there's also the me that shows up and doesn't want to get out of bed this morning and you know just got off a call and really wants to just like you know not do anything um, and that me shows up all the time. Maybe it's the you who's like PMSing, or maybe it's the you who um, you know stayed up a little too late last night, or whatever it is. I just make sure that whatever this Alyssa, the one who doesn't want to get out of bed, um, whatever mood she's in, she makes sure that she answers to the CEO Beyonce version of me. CEO Beyonce version of me puts all of my dates in my calendar and when I'm inspired and when I'm on fire, I map all of that out for myself. So that real deal Alyssa who loses motivation sometimes and isn't inspired sometimes, all she has to do is follow the game plan that Beyonce Alyssa has put into place. And I highly recommend giving yourself an alter ego and letting her be the boss. And then when real you shows up, you know, honoring that, but taking action on what the, you know, the inspired version of you really wants you to do. And the best way to do that is to figure out your objective, create your timeline, map it out in your calendar um, by reverse engineering exactly what you want to hit. That way you kind of know, I just have to follow this and then I know I'm going to hit my goal. So I would love to hear from you guys. Um, everyone who's watching this, what is your biggest goal this year? I want to know what it is. And are you committed to reverse engineering it, creating your really clear objectives, um, creating your timeline, and then putting that in your calendar, and then following it, regardless of whether or not you drank too much on New Year's, you're going to show up on January 1st and start crushing your timeline. I want to know if you what your biggest goal is and if you are committed to that. And I'm going to be back next week to talk all about how to actually know how to sell your product. Um, this is really exciting for me because I know that so many people struggle with actually showing up and having the uh, 
oh, brass ovaries, as my coach would say, in order to actually sell hard. Um, and I'm going to show you the way that makes it really, really easy to sell things. Um, so we'll be back next week to talk about that. And if you want to be here to see that, um, you can join the Facebook group, alyssacoleman.ca slash group, um, where you'll get first divs and probably get notifications and stuff when that video goes live. Otherwise, I hope you have an epic week and um, we'll chat next Wednesday.